everybody, welcome back to uh, Quest for Glory 3, Wages of War. Hey, Princess Shapir. Now I be... Uh, guard over... Any guard over the prisoner, be certain the Liverman does not escape. Trust me? Powerful magic you use there. So leopard man becomes a lady. Soon the unmarried men will be asking Nabon for her bride price, you will see. Now's not a good time. Ah. So, breaker of magic, you turn the leper man into a woman. Now there'll be no more talk of beating the prisoner. Now there'll be talk of marrying the prisoner. to be easy. No warrior will be able to handle that woman, I bet. Still, if you buy her and woo her, then set her free, maybe she helping peace. This is possible. What? Are you... Suddenly she doesn't speak my language anymore? She suffered some, some sort of cataclysmic brain injury all of a sudden? Tarna. And talk to Rakesh and Krasha, or whatever her name is about it. You just bet I'm thrilled to pieces. Stealth just gonna run. Unless it has money. In which case I'll fight it. Even though money really isn't of much use to me right now. Probably should have checked the bride pr price before I left. Oh well. There's a way around that. Uh. 
Okay, good. I already have that. Just wanted to make sure I had the right, right uh, thing for when I come back. Tell how you changed the leopard man back into a human. By another somebody, they will try to sell her as a wife. It may be wise for you to purchase this leopard lady for a wife. Only then will you be able to free her and gain her trust. Think so? Well, okay. I mean, obviously, I knew that already, but. The points. Where is my score anyway? Ah, there it is. care if I don't need money anymore. I did not implement money very well in this game. You get so little and everything costs so much. Fortunately, you don't actually really need to get more money. You're pretty much good with what you got. Advance the game. Quickly 
you know? Bug out on me, game. Here you go, champ. Probably shouldn't be calling the, uh, the chief champ. No, I can still get the too impatient to, to rest thing anymore. You go, love. Guard says something you can't understand, but you don't think it's flattering. You know, I think the leopardy would run from you so fast. Maybe you should be giving her more gifts, but then maybe not. Maybe she just wants to go home. It is odd. I'd be thinking she like you and Yusuf. Maybe we not be seeing the last of Leopard Lady. Ah, that's cool. Since I don't intend to come back here anymore. A 
to do what we do best. You walk around the cheese hut, carefully looking for details. You see a definite weakness in the wall at the back of the Lavian's hut. You dig in the crack. You dig a hole in the wall large enough for you to enter the hut. Hopefully he's asleep, otherwise I'm going to get a game over. Hopefully I wasn't supposed to steal from him, too. I don't think so. I think that was optional. you get back here? Thank you. That beast looks dangerous. Better not go off half crocked against it. You see, get off running away from me. money is beyond me. Now then. It's important that I do not mention that I have the drum. Creature in the jungle which hasn't heard you coming. Good thing you're not a hunter. So you may have paid the cow people bride price for me, but I am not your wife. You cannot buy me. Did you think you could win me with a gift? I am Jorari. I will choose my own husband when I want one. I only want to be your friend. Those words before. First, you buy me for a wife, then you want to be my friend. Right. Try to explain that you are trying to bring peace between the leopard man and the Simbani. So, all you want to do is use me to talk to my people? The only reason you want me for a friend is so I will betray my village for you? You never wanted to really marry me? What's the matter with you? With you? Am I ugly or something? You try and talk your way out of this mess. Some friend you are trying to use me. Harshness? Eventually she'll get pissed and leave. I don't know 
why she hasn't changed back yet. Surely it's more useful for her to be a leopard. Again. So you are again calling out to all the monsters in the jungle. Here I am. Come and get me with your noise. Eh, you. Trying to still get trying to yourself eaten, or are you looking for my village? You need someone like that cowman Isufu to protect you in this jungle. I think I can handle myself, thanks. that my people did nothing to do such an ambush. We did not even know about such a mission. Why are we blamed for everything? Gee, I don't know. Of course a war will be bad. Teach me magic. I was trying to sneak into the cowman village and take back our drum. It's hard to sneak in the savannah, no place to hide. I've noticed this. So this is the strong cowman who kept saying he wanted me f for a wife. You looked almost smart for a Simbani. Shame you bought me for a bride first. You would not just watch quietly while I ran away as if you didn't care. Okay, now you're just being mean. be able to steal the spear. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Nope. Oh dear. I was lucky. As you can probably guess, those things are poisonous. Or venomous, rather. You've heard that rattlesnake meat is rather tasty, but you're not sure at all about flying cobras. is not interested in your words of peace. He even ordered me to stay in the village and not to see you again. He speaks to me as if I were a child. I think he is a child if he thinks that this world will be good. Hmm. Tell about peace and how you are trying to stop the war between the Simbani and the Leopard Man. Very well, but you will have to prove yourself to my father before you will listen to my words. Let's go to my village and see whether you can indeed bring peace. You are one strange man, you know. Why you want peace for my people, but don't even know my people, I don't understand. Still, I think I trust you. People of magic, my people, do not trust outsiders. You will be very mad that I bring you there. My father will be furious. You'll have to prove yourself before the people listen to you. A strong show of magic or the gift of the drum of magic will make them listen. So you are lucky if they do not kill you on sight. They may yet. They will kill that Yusufu fellow for sure. They know he's an enemy. If Yusufu had a ha hair and skin like you, my people would not kill him right off. First, they'd laugh very hard when they see him. Then they kill him. Maybe they will kill you too. I will try to save you. Well, at least that. There's that, you know. Need to be quiet. Talk all the time. I do not want my people to see you before I talk about you, or you will be one dead man. It will be dark soon, and we can watch my people do the change ritual. No outsider is allowed to see it, it and live, so do not tell anyone what you see here. Hmm. 
point taken. Straight up. Nice. Time has come for the change. Whoop. My hand does that sometimes. It's a little worrying that I just click without trying to. We're here, we will be out of sight and can watch what goes on in the ritual. see some real magic. I'm not even trying to hide. How do they not see me? She's at least ducked down to where it's just like her head sticking up above the fence. I'm ch like chest height. Come, follow me. Do what I do. I'm up here. This is the spot nearest to my father's hut. You can see Q, our pet black panther, down there. He's trained to eat strangers and he's always very hungry. You will need to be careful or he will attack you. I think I can handle myself. Throw some food to the hungry leopard. Okay. Here you go, little monkey boy. You give some of your fruit to the hungry monkey. You want to try and oil it first. Where's my oil? There it is. You open the cage and let the monkey go. You carefully retrieve the spear of death. Good luck. You 
camp out for the, the rest of the night and the next day. Jenny then takes you back to the village. Jerry, why are you brought this outsider to our village? This person's very... This is a very important person. He has something, something to say. You have no right to bring this outsider to our village. Outsiders are our enemy and he should be destroyed. He's not our enemy. You must listen to him. Okay, show him why I brought you here. Poor Vu. Behold, the drum of magic! You journey back to Zimbani village. Stranger once came to the Zimbani. The stranger spoke of peace. There can be no peace, said the Zimbani. The stranger came back to the Zimbani village. He spoke of peace again. There can be no peace while there is an enemy, said the Zimbani. The stranger went to the enemy. The stranger then came back to the Zimbani. Come forward, stranger. Show us the symbol of your peace. Behold the Zimbani spear of death. Behold, the stranger has brought the Zimbani the promise of peace. Now the Zimbani can speak again in Tarna. Now the Zimbani can speak again the words of peace. You travel with Karish back by Tar to Tarna by way of the magic portal. The next few days are spent arranging the peace conference between the Zimbani and the Leopard Men in the Hall of Judgment. At last, the day of peace conference arrives. I gotta stop clicking by mistake. You have been watching the conference for some time as they introduce everyone. It's been rather boring. Council of Judgment of the Land of Tarn now speak, calls forth the Lemani of the Zimbani to speak before us. I, Leban of the Zimbani, am speaking before you as leader of my people. The Zimbani and the Leopard Men have always been enemies. The Leopard Men steal our cattle by night. They use magic against our warriors. We are sneaky and not to be trusted. Leopardman stole from the Zimbani the symbol of Zimbani power, the Spear of Death. Look a spear. Something's not right here. I feel that something terrible is about to happen. Friend, can you not see the sign of the demon leaving the body of the Leopard Man leader? King Roger is furious at these actions. This is terrible. Well. <sighs> I'll come back after I've gotten back there again. Well, actually, I will send this video here. I end up lose 32. We're out of handles. ETFN, ta-ta for now.